complete null power. So, let's get it apart. And let's see what's happening. So the case on this is battered. I think I gave like £50 for this or something like that. If it's the one I'm thinking of, I gave £50 for it. But when I was moving house, I found it in my pile of consoles. And when I say pile of consoles, I mean about 40 of them. Well, the case is knackered. What am I doing? I'm trying to... I'm trying to take this thing out, and I haven't even unscrewed it. What am I doing? This video probably still would have been here without today's sponsor. But hey, it's time to show something, right? So here goes. Here at The Code of Productions, we love nothing more than to take as much money from you, the viewer, as we possibly can. Which is why we're proud to talk to you about ConsoleFix.shop. A great place for you to spend your hard-earned cash. I mean, yeah, fair enough. You get parts and supplies that help you fix things, but you've got to give me some money in return. Nothing in life's free, and if you pay me for it, you might appreciate it more. Or not, hey, I'm not judging. With that being said, we do have some pretty cool stuff on the shelves, including power supplies, HDMI ports, charging chips, MOSFETs, and whatever else you can think of that will give you the illusion that you're getting a good deal. So head on over to the online store by clicking on the link in the video description, and if there's one thing I can guarantee, is that there will be a way for me to take your money. Console fix, your friendly money grabbing YouTuber. Right, so was this a, a liquid damage case or what? Or is it something more sincere? I can't remember where this is from. I don't think, no, I don't think this is that one. Because um, I'm pretty sure it was covered. Like the one that I'm thinking of was absolutely cake. So I think I might have just ended up down boarding it, to be honest. But this is no power anyway. Artie Said, thank you. Really appreciate that. Yeah, guys, if you're on YouTube and you've got an Amazon Prime account, head over to Twitch. Link Amazon Prime to Twitch and you can subscribe to me for free. You can follow me for free on Twitch, but subscribing supports me. If you've got an Amazon Prime account, it gives me free money. It doesn't cost you anything if you've got an Amazon Prime account. I would really appreciate it. And if this does make a video as well, um, if I edit this down into a video, then I am live streaming at the minute, so I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to chat, because I get lonely on my own. So if you are watching back of the video and you're not subscribed, don't forget to. Right, I don't think I've done any work to this. So where's this board come from? Or where's this console come from, rather? Hmm, I don't actually know, to be honest. Let's see if we're getting 12 volts on the power supply, shall we? Yes, we do. Okay. We get 12 volts on the power supply, so that's fine. So, now let's have a look and see. Have we got a short on my 12 volt rail? Yep. Dead short on 12 volt. 2.7 ohms, and that's including the voltage drop across the lead. So, honestly, this is probably going to be a MOSFET or something like that given the fact that we're short on the 12 volt rail. Let's have a look around and see what we can see. So we've got, we've got a few areas, which could be the culprit here. Um, the first area of interest is gonna be around here. So we've got some, um, we've got some power management here. We've got some, um, I think these are high side phases. Um, for the CPU, GPU. Uh, but they do run off 12 volt. So let's just have a look around here for any shorts. Yeah, this is all short by the look of it. So that's gonna be one, probably one FET that's pulling it all down or something, or one bad cap. Ah, there's my test point for the 12 volt. So I don't know where the test points are off the top of my heart, off the top of my heart. Off the top of my head. Yeah, so definitely a short on twelve on the twelve volt rail. So what I can do then is rather than hunting around and trying to figure out where the hell this short is, given the fact that all of these fets look clean. I can just inject twelve volts into it and have a look. Well, not I'm not gonna inject twelve volts because that's gonna be bad and I'll tell you for why. So if we if we want to inject voltage, 
And let's say, for example, we've got a 12 volt rail. And I explained this earlier on the live stream, but if this does make a video, then I need to explain it again. So let's say, for example, we've got a 12 volt rail, which we've got right here. If we were to inject 12 volts there, that's normally going to be fine if there's no short on the board. But if, for example, the 12 volt rail is short to is shorted across to the 3.3 volt rail, then what you're going to be doing is essentially injecting 12 volts into the 3.3 volt rail because they're directly connected through a short. So what you want to do is you want to try, if you can, you want to try and inject lower than your lowest voltage rail. Or another thing you can do is just double check first and check for a short across from your 12 volt rail to your other rail. So from 12 volt to 5 volt, 5 uh, 12 volt to 5 volt to 3 volt, 1.8, 1.1, etc. You can check for shorts to them. And if you've got no short directly from the 12 volt to one of those rails, then you'll be okay. But never inject, like let's say for example, if we've got a short on the 3.3 volt rail directly to the 12 volt rail, but we haven't got a short on the 1.8 volt rail to the 12 volt, then we could safely go up to 3.3, realistically. But I am going to put one probe on the 12 volt test point and I'm going to find some other test points to test it to. So SOC, PHY, good. V fuse, no short. Although that is very low, 52 ohms. Hmm, I think V fuse is 3.3 volt. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, ooh, GFX core. Okay, that's showing up as quite low. TP7, good. TP6, good. TP5, good. Yeah, I think we can safely go a couple of volts at least. Um, I'm going to start off at one volt though. I'm not going to. I'm not going to start off at like two or three volts. I'm going to start at one because if we draw in enough current with one volt, then realistically we don't need to go any higher. So. Let's pop that on ground. I'm going to go one volt on my bench power supply. And I'm going to inject that directly into the 12 volt rail. And we get 800 milliamps of current draw. Let's see if that's enough to pick anything up on the thermal camera. Nope, not so far. Thank you, Freak Doctor. I really appreciate that. No signs of anything yet. So let's steadily increase. I'm at 1.2 volts and we're getting 1.4 amps of current. And I think we might be starting to get something light up. Hmm. We have a hot spot on the APU. This might not be uh might not be fixable. Could be repack box, yeah. Cause we have a hot spot directly on the APU there. It's not good. I'm only injecting 1.2 volts. So if that's sent 12 volts through the AP through to the APU because of a short on one of these FETs, then it's GG, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm going to start removing some of these FETs because, yeah, I mean it could be it could be just how it's pulling some of it down, but and not enough of it's getting through to the APU to kill the APU. I've had that before. I'm not going to write this off, not right now. Um, so I'm going to pull these FETs off one by one and see if it clears the short. Because I'm not 100% convinced it's the APU. So I'm just going to start pulling these FETs off one by one and see if any of them relieve the short. Plus, if they don't relieve the short, then, well, the FETs will just go in my donor pile because they do sell pretty well on the online store. Okay, we're still dead short there. Still dead short. Still dead short. Still dead short. Oh, hang on. We might have cleared it. I believe we have. 
This last one that I've just took off. And it's no longer short. Right. Well. That's no longer short. With all of those phases off. So let's put some of these MOSFETs back on. No shorts, no shorts. So we're in continuity mode. Oh, whoops, that's uh, the wrong one. Oh, there you go. There you go, no shorts. Mess on the board. Oh, mess on the desk. Oh, it's a workbench, mate. It is a workbench. The workbench isn't messy. I've got parts on there and a couple of supplies. Right, what do you reckon guys, is it going to work? To be fair, I wouldn't, whatever I've paid for this, I can't remember what I've paid for this, because I can't remember where it's come from, but I won't lose money on it either way. Right, I'm not going to clean that flux up yet, I'll clean it up tomorrow or something. Not really fussed about flux. Same as the dust, not really fussed about the dust. Yeet! Just the right amount of thermal paste. Ain't no perfect amounts here. Fan spin. <laughs> Boom. Ain't no dead CPU today, boys. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, boy. There we go. I'm happy. Series X, uh, Series S working. Good stuff. How did you diagnose the fault? Um, right, so I had a short on the 12 volt rail. Voltage injection was showing signs of a dead CPU, but it actually wasn't. It was the fact that one of the MOSFETs was shorted. Uh, so it was probably ground what was getting warm uh, on the CPU itself, but yeah. Uh, I've removed all five MOSFETs off that phase, uh, or rather off the uh, off the phases and it was the last one that was short so I removed them all until it cleared the short and the last one cleared the short happy days that's ah, more like it right yeah so short on the 12 volt rail caused by a faulty MOSFET if you do need to buy these MOSFETs I do sell them on consolefix.shop um, so I'll sell them on my online store so if you do want to buy some if you need some I can help you out I've got plenty but yeah, if you're watching this back as a video, this was live streamed, like I said. Um, so I'm not going nuts responding to chat. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And uh, give me a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.